energy tax receipts and what do they mean for local towns? I'm Jill Horner. This is Comcast Newsmakers. With me is New Jersey State Assemblyman Chris Brown. Thanks so much for being with us. Thanks for having me. Let's start there with energy tax receipts. Uh, these are dollars paid in lieu of property taxes by energy companies that have facilities in a community. Talk to us a little bit about how this process works. Well, you just uh, said it real well. Within each uh, community, uh, there may be, let's say, South Jersey Gas Company or an electric company or, or any uh, energy providing uh, company within that town will pay their property taxes. But since South Jersey Gas Company or uh, one of the electric companies has so many locations and so many properties, for them to mail out smaller checks to each town can become burdensome. Now here comes the state, and the state says, we're going to help you out, municipality, and we're going to help you out, local uh, energy provider. Just send us the money. And, and so the background is that these dollars were once paid to the municipalities. Yes. Then the state actually took over as the collector of these dollars. But are the dollars now going back to the municipalities? Well, that's the beauty of Trenton, and that's the beauty of the state. Uh, once the money was diverted to Trenton, they never sent it back to the local municipalities. And I've only been involved now uh, in government. Uh, I ran about four years ago, and uh, they had already made this change. And to me, when you look at property tax relief and you look at whether it's retirees or uh, young families trying to make ends meet, the number one problem repeated over and over is our property taxes are too high and we can't afford to live here. So we should take this property tax energy receipt and instead of giving it to the state, it should stay with the municipalities where it belongs. At this point though, the state is the collector of these dollars, the money's going into the general fund, so in a really challenging budget year, can the state afford for these dollars to go back to municipalities? Well, uh, everything is a challenge every year to this state. And, and uh, s simple reductions in, in waste, fraud, and abuse that goes on in government uh, would, would certainly give that opportunity. But more importantly, this is money that belongs to municipalities. For example, in Northfield, you're talking about $650,000 that instead of Northfield residents getting, who deserve that money, that, that's property in their town, that is being taxed, that the state is taking from them. That could go to each person's uh, property tax relief directly, and that's part of what we're trying to do. We're not just saying the money should go back to the municipality, but we're saying it has to be spent on property tax relief because too often you give uh, municipalities money back and they wind up spending it on uh, other uh, programs in other areas and the, the taxpayer the, the families, the seniors, they don't see it. So the bill would send the money back to the municipality and then require that municipality to spend it directly on property tax relief. And this would vary by municipality depending on the volume of energy companies that, that uh, have properties within the community or, or utilizing properties within the community. The one example you gave of $650,000, right. that's just an example. That's right. That, that's Northfield. Uh, if you were talking about Buna Township, that's uh, 750000 If you're talking about Summers Point, that's 900000 And if you're talking about Egg Harbor Township, $6.2 million. And this is money that I'm trying to bring back to Atlanta County, to our local municipalities. But you say, why? Property tax relief. And have you introduced a bill related to this? Yes, we, we have a bill, and uh, we're trying to get our friends across the aisle to, to move it and uh, I'm working with them to do that. This is clearly something that transcends party. It's all about doing the right thing for, for the people we represent. Thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me. We've been talking with New Jersey State Assemblyman Chris Brown. I'm Jill Horner.